Well, then we're doing the best we can here. That's great. Let's have fun with it. Hi, everyone. On this episode of Getting Real with The Realtor, me, I am going to interview Rick Royal, a general contractor and owner of RRA Construction, San Francisco's boutique construction company. Um, Thank you for having me. Yes. Uh, where are we? What is this? We are <laughs> in Corona Heights, uh, San Francisco, four stories. So you've done so many remodels, you know, through your career. Um, what makes building in San Francisco so 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 unique and so different? We don't have parking. We don't have space mm, to bring true. more than three, two to three subs at a time. So that's one of the unique things that you need to look out for in San Francisco. Is right, okay, okay, that, that's good to know. Yeah, lack of space. We, we also have heard and read many articles about how, you know, the planning department, they are just so awful to deal with. And like, what has your experience been like with getting permits? Uh, there's two components to the permitting process. There's the planning department, which deals with the outside of your house, uh -huh. and then the building department, which is, deals with the inside of your house. Uh, so first, you have to get approvals for the outside of your house. That okay. you're not, you know, you're not uh, adding additional square foot or any of those n numbers of things that requires the planning department to look. Now, those can go from two weeks at best. Mm -hmm which they call over-the-counter approvals, to up to a year to okay. get things approved. So in San Francisco, you'll be wise not to change the front of your house too much. Okay. Uh, especially if your house has historical value, and okay. then it's going to take you a year. If it doesn't have historical value like this house doesn't, and then the process is a little faster, but it's not quick. Okay. Once you get past that and into the building department, uh, and then that is a much faster process. That could be two to four weeks. Okay. So you really have to know what you're doing when you go to the building department because the building department is not there to guide you. They expect you to know what you're doing. So it's easy to get confused okay. on where to go. Mm -hmm. So uh, we always advise to hire somebody that knows what they're doing, right. an expediter. So hire a professional that know what they're doing, that knows their way around the planning and the building department. Correct. Let's say you know I have a client who wants to purchase a home. And, you know the kitchen is a little dated, and they want to also upgrade um, their bathroom. Can you just uh, kind of give us a, a, an overview of what those can cost? So if you replace in kind, in other words, leaving, bringing in new fixtures, but putting them in the same location, you can, you can keep your budget down. So a kitchen typically runs like a 10 by 12 kitchen typically runs on the low end, 20 to $25,000 remodel. Okay. And on the high end, well, you know, you can spend as much money as you can on cabinets and fixtures and lights. And the most expensive kitchen I've done, which in the city they're not very big it's uh -huh. about sixty thousand sixty thousand so you can get to sixty on the bathroom the same thing on the low end ten to twelve thousand that's again just changing okay. the tiles changing the fixtures in kind not moving them around toilet where it goes tub where it goes mm -hmm. you can get them up higher up to about eighteen thousand mm -hmm. yeah there, there's so many options out there and i love designing at home i think it's so fun and, and so many of us do but um one thing i just want to just mention is that the, the the more indecisive that you are when it comes to picking out <laughs> you know your tiles or your cabinets or appliances that really adds a lag to the construction too right it, it adds to the schedule mm -hmm. which adds time and like they say time is money time is money um what is this back here what you're seeing back there is we're getting ready to install a fireplace there Ooh. that's what they call a fireplace box as you see the sheet rock and to prepare everything else around about three thousand so you're looking at between nine to ten thousand dollars well thank you so much um if you guys need a reputable and highly recommended contractor rick's your man you can also um message me so hit the like button if you haven't already and please subscribe for more